The 2021 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival is here at long last. It is the longest festival in history, and today we're covering it over a multi-day span to try as much as possible and show you everything there is to do and experience at the Food and Wine Festival. Let's do it. For 26 years, Epcot has been featuring some amazing things. We've seen the park transform. We've seen rides updated and changed. But nothing has been a greater draw here at Epcot than the festivals. Festival of the Arts, Flower and Garden, Festival of the Holidays, and arguably the most popular one of all time, the Food and Wine Festival. Every year, Disney's adding something new to the Food and Wine Festival, whether it's a new booth, new food, or just new things to do. This year, the Food and Wine Festival is the longest ever. From July 15th to November 20th, 2021, this festival will be here for a long time. Which is a great thing, because it'll give us opportunities to try all the amazing flavors. Let's start this festival off with one of the brand new booths just for 2021. It's the Noodle Exchange. Look at that. They've got some amazing looking spicy Vietnamese beef pho, along with the shrimp and coconut curry rice noodles and tofu. Wow. It all looks delicious. The Food and Wine Festival is very unique here at Epcot because you have the opportunity to learn about some of these food items around the world. You know that noodles are served all around the globe and we get to learn about them here at the Noodle Exchange. Why not start the Food and Wine Festival with something brand new? We're starting off the Food and Wine Festival with something spicy and from the totally new Noodle Exchange, it's the very special shrimp and coconut curry rice noodles with the very special shiitake, shiitake mushrooms and Thai basil apparently spicy, but I'm looking forward to trying it together. You ready? Bon appetit. It's a little spicy. Make sure you have water standing by <laughs> if you're like me. It's a good spice though. It's it's not the same kind of heat that you'd expect with something like the, the spice, uh, and they have a spicy one as well. This isn't even that. There's another one that's even more spicy. Wow, this is, <laughs> it's spicy, but not too, too intense. I like that first bite. Gonna go for a few more. The shrimp is delicious. A little bit on the cooler side. They just took it out of the fridge, but the noodles are really fantastic. Now the broth itself is the spicy part. You really do taste it, but it's not too intense. You know I me, mean? I can only handle a certain level of spice. This is not too spicy for me. It's not, I would get it again. I do like it but I don't think we found the best of the fest yet, but a great first bite. Of course, the festival features many of our favorites that return again and again, like the Canadian cheddar and bacon yeah, soup, a fan favorite with that pretzel that. roll. You can't go wrong. A lot of things at Epcot change very quickly with the Food and Wine Festival, including the janitors, who now have the Food and Wine Festival theme and are all wearing chef jackets. In recent years, we have seen a significant shift in how Disney handles some of these kiosks. Some of them wait until a later period of time to open. That's done so that if you maybe come back down to Walt Disney World for the opening, you have to come back to experience more of the festival later on. More of these will be opening before you know it. Changing all the time. Check on Disney's website linked below to find out when each one is opening. Some lines are shorter and some lines are longer. The general rule of thumb that I like to use is that if you see a long line at one of the kiosks here at the Food and Wine Festival, probably best to get in line because that means some of the best food is there. Not always going to be working, by the way. That, that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. It usually works. One of the big changes for 2021 is Tangerine Cafe, which is now technically part of the Food and Wine Festival. It's its own kiosk, more or less. You'll notice it's a pretty big change here inside of Tangerine Cafe and via our passport here, they've got some really unique items, including the stone baked Moroccan bread, the falafel pita, even the grilled kebabs, all looks good. The pistachio cake looks amazing, but they also have the fresh orange juice and fresh blood orange juice. Huh. Maybe we'll have to try some. For today's test of the Tangerine Cafe, we've got dessert and orange juice. Both look great. We've got the pistachio cake with the cinnamon pastry cream and the candied walnut. Super excited for that. And the fresh blood 
orange juice. I was thinking about just regular orange juice, but blood orange juice. We gotta do that, ready? Cheers. I've had blood orange juice before, it is delicious. Nothing extra amazingly special about this one, but you know, good, good orange juice. All right, it's pistachio cake time, and I feel bad cutting into this. I'm guessing that's white chocolate? Oh my gosh, look at that, it's crumbling apart. But I cannot wait to try it. You ready? Bon appetit. Oh my goodness, that is fantastically good. Not too much pistachio. More cinnamon than you would expect, but delicious. Whoa, whoa delicious. So far, this is the best item I have had at the Food and Wine Festival 2021. The pistachio cake from Tangerine Cafe. I'm so glad we stopped in here. Amazing mix of pistachio. Like, you taste pistachio, you do. You have to like pistachio ice cream, you have to know that flavor comes out super strong. Then a perfect mix of cinnamon, sponge cake, walnuts, and that sweet cream. It really comes together perfectly. This one was done extremely well. My current leader at the Food and Wine Festival, but there's so much to try. We'll see if it can maintain that spot. Now there's so many things to try here at the Food and Wine Festival. I had the opportunity to try a few of the things earlier. One of them, the griddled cheese from Greece. Believe it or not, Greece is actually one of the earliest kiosks here at the Food and Wine Festival, 1996. Griddled cheese with pistachio and honey. It was good, not amazing, but it was fine. You had a piece of cheese with a little honey on there and some walnuts, it was all right. It's part of the adventure around Epcot. Every year, right by the American Adventure Pavilion, the funnel cake kiosk has something extra special. This year it's the mini candy bacon funnel cake and it looks incredible. One of the ones that I'm so excited about this year, which I have not tried yet, is the Rotunda Bistro. Don't be confused, it's not hops and barley at the American Adventure, it's Rotunda Bistro. It's inside. It's that chilled crab and avocado parfait with caviar, as far as I remember, on top. I gotta try it, I have to try it. Really incredible what they've done here. Yeah, I'm inside the Rotunda now. And we have tables here for eating. You actually pick up your food right by the entrance. You've got all of these tables to sit back and enjoy this uh, delicious parfait. It's a savory parfait, not a sweet one. With crab and avocado. I'm excited. Here it is from the Rotunda Bistro, brand new at the Food and Wine Festival. The crab and avocado parfait served in this little cup right here. Looks delicious. Let's see if it tastes as good as I am hoping it does. Bon appetit. That is a great flavor. I need another bite of that. That's how good that is. I need another bite. There's a citrus flavor in there with the crab. You can taste like the lemon, almost like a lime, but more of a lemon with the crab and avocado. It is delicious. A <laughs> Couple bites in. This is my favorite protein item. Just, <laughs> just a couple bites in. Plenty of avocado, lots of crab, lots to love about this one right here. Oh yeah, highly recommend it. It's added to my list of things not to miss at the Food and Wine Festival. What's really surprisingly unique about this dish is that there's no like filler. <laughs> like, I know that's weird to say. There's, there's crab, there's avocado, there's lemon. That, that's it. There's no extra like breading, there's no special rice in between. It's just the crab and avocado. Really do like this one, highly recommend it. If it sounds good to you, just those descriptions, yeah, that's one I would not miss. You can see touches of the Food and Wine Festival all throughout Epcot, including here, the toy trains here in Germany. So where are your favorites, sir? Oh, that smell kills me every time. I love it. I'd like the caramel Kuhn is here all the time. Kuhn, delicious, absolutely delicious. Caramel in there, don't forget the popcorn and the chewy bar. Here's another new kiosk just introduced in 2021. It's Kenya, not open yet. Will be open soon. You can see they've got some delicious looking items, including the Piri Piri shrimp. Love that one, I've tried it before. One of the most recent additions here at the Food and Wine Festival that's been getting a ton of attention is this booth right here. The Swanky Saucy Swine booth. Full of your favorite pork items. The other day, I tried the very special pork rinds. It was good, it was good. Not my all time favorite. We're still looking for some of the best of the festival. The cheese itself was just fantastic, absolutely delicious. The pork rinds were, in my opinion, kind of been on the tough side. I've had pork rinds before, separate from Epcot, and they were different tasting. Of course, the star of the Food and Wine Festival 2021 is Remy from Ratatouille. It's amazing how many items they have here at the Food and Wine Festival. It's easy to lose track of what you've tried already and what you're looking forward to trying soon. Best way, at least the best approach that I've found, is to actually grab one of those passports and mark it with a pen or a Sharpie so you know what you thought about each item. And so if you have multiple days during your vacation, you can check them off 
And while you're maybe riding on the monorail, you have the opportunity to review some of your favorites and maybe go back for seconds later on. It made its debut a few years ago, but the donut box has become a staple here at the Food and Wine Festival. This year, it's not just donuts and sweets. They've also got a chicken sandwich, which we're gonna try today. That being said, it's chicken sandwich uh, on a very special sriracha glazed donut. I mean, I saw it, I said, We've got to get it. Now, in addition to the regular items they have on the menu, check out some of these special ones. They have Black Forest Donut and Lemon Blueberry Donut. Very unique here at the Donut Box of the Food and Wine Festival. It's an item unlike any we've ever seen before here at the Food and Wine Festival, and it's brand new for 2021. It's the chicken sandwich from the Donut Box with the Sriracha Glazed Donut on the outside. I think, just from looking at it, it has the potential to be the number one at the festival. Now, remember, looks and tastes are very different. Let's bite into it together, I'll let you know. Some of these items are so big and delicious. How do you, how do I grab it? I don't, it's all sticky. I've got it, bon appetit. Oh my goodness. I am pretty sure I just found the best item at the Food and Wine Festival. There is very little doubt in my mind at this moment that we have just found, as of now, the best item at the Food and Wine Festival. I need another bite. The heat, the consistency of the donut, the amount that the chicken is fried. Every piece of this, I love it. Every, it's a huge sandwich, it's enormous. But oh my gosh, this right now, this sriracha chicken sandwich with a donut around it is my current number one. I love it, I love it so much. It's, it's, I like things that aren't too, too hot, like a little bit of heat, a little bit. This is perfect for that, there's a little bit of heat. Ah, yeah, I'd get that again in a heartbeat. Donut box, chicken, <laughs> sriracha donut. There's your number one. Goes to show the number one is changing all the time because this item is brand new for 2021. And I hope it never goes away. Some of the items for the Food and Wine Festival, you're gonna want extra napkins. Luckily I've got some. Don't forget hand sanitizer, you're gonna want that too. Yeah, so good, so good. One of the best flavors, but also extremely filling. This is an entire meal right here at the Food and Wine Festival, which you don't always find. A lot of them are smaller. I think it's $8.50 for this one. 100% worth it, really fills you up. After getting filled up on that amazing sandwich, let's head over and see some of the merchandise just for the Food & Wine Festival 2021. Inside Mouse Gear, we found some of that merchandise just for the Food & Wine Festival. Take a look, we're starting off with this shirt here, standard t-shirt with kind of a embossed look with the Food & Wine Festival, different countries below and on the back. Excuse me, that's the front. You can see the pocket with some of the Food & Wine Festival and the silverware. Now that is not a real pocket, I can tell you for sure. That is just a, uh, a design, but a cool one. This t-shirt is $29.99. Here's the spirit jersey for the Food & Wine Festival 2021. Gotta love that one. You can see 2021 there, and it's all kind of glittered and specially embossed. On the back, you can see it says celebrating. I love that Food & Wine Festival. So cool with the grapes and the wine bottle, and you've got the silverware on the side there. We've also got the keychains here. Take a look, Food & Wine Festival keychains. You can see there's a wine glass right up front there. And you've got the Epcot, Spaceship Earth, love it. Like in the past, we've seen this very special reusable silverware you can take around with you. Kind of comes with its own placemat, love that one. In addition, we've got the very special uh, eating tray here. We have your wine glass right there, and food can go right there as you walk around World Showcase. Check out the tank top this year. You can see International Food and Wine Festival with the glasses and the bottles there, I love that. Just a standard white tank top. Great look to it. The tank top is $39.99. Like in past years, we've got the ornament to celebrate the Food & Wine Festival. Grapes, cheese, wine glasses, and wine bottle. This one's $22.99. It's a little bit heavy. I like it, perfect for your tree. Of course, wouldn't be a Food & Wine Festival without the commemorative glass. You can see it here, Epcot International Food & Wine Festival 2021, and all the designs of Epcot all around. This one was actually made in the USA, $14.99. These salt and pepper shakers are always super popular for the Food & Wine Festival. They're interchangeable, so you can put either salt or pepper in each one. Just, I would recommend getting two. $9.99 for these trash can salt shakers. Now from Cork Cycle, we've got this really cool kind of uh, this container here, you can see it's like a water bottle, but it can, I'm sure, also put in there like hot beverages. $39.99, look at that. There it is, I've got it opened right there. It's not a cork, it's a standard looking top, but it definitely will fit quite a bit as you celebrate 
the Food and Wine Festival. In addition to the larger mug, we've got the smaller one here. Take a look. Made of that same material from Cork Cycle for the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2021. All the countries scattered throughout the outside. Love that. $29.99 for this one. Probably for cold and hot beverages. There is no shortage of these very special mugs here at the Food and Wine Festival. You've got one with Figment. You've got one with Remy and the red top there. Then you've got Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And then right down here, you got the pass holder. Look at that. Sweet to the core with Mickey thinking about apples. All of these are $26.99. As we've come to expect, the pass holder section is here as well. And you can see they've got these uh, four packs of the coasters here, $24.99. All of them feature figment, except for that one on the right. But Journey into a Culinary Delight, is that figment? I, I might call it figment, I like it. The shirt that really has my attention is this one, the Food and Wine Festival 2021 pass holder exclusive shirt. It's a ringer shirt with the purple going around the outside. There's figment dancing and walking his way around celebrating pass holders. Got to appreciate that. And on the back, Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2021. This shirt is $29.99 and I am super tempted. Very likely going to happen. Take a look at this. It's very cool glass right here. Food and Wine Festival. It was $29.99 for this one. It's kind of got that cork topper right there. Made of wood, but uh, secure is like that. Maybe you put what do you think, like a big thing of fireball candy in there? That would be good. Like we've seen in the past, they've got the very special magnet celebrating the Food and Wine Festival. This one is $9.99 and will definitely stick to magnetic surfaces. Take a look at the women's shirt here, Journey into the Culinary Delight, $36.99 for this one. And it is that pass holder exclusive women's shirt for the Food and Wine Festival. It's very nice one with that V-neck right there. Take a look at these very special, what are you gonna call them, placemats or something else? They've got those little rubber feet on the, the bottom so they sit down just like this, but very cool, a little bit heavy, gotta love it. For the Food and Wine Festival, $29.99 for this one. Love it, almost looks like it's kind of like stained glass, really cool. For pins and magic bands and all those smaller pieces of merchandise, you have to ask behind the counter. Pass holder and he moves a little bit. Oh, I love that. Take a look, you got the annual pass holder uh, magic band right there along with some amazing pins. Now it's interesting, this year the prices have gone up for several of the items here. For example, the pass holder magic band, the, the exclusive one, is now 39 99. In the past, they were a little bit uh, differently priced, but this one actually might light up in a very special way. Then you've got the annual pass holder pin right here with Figment. I love that one there. And you got several others here. Take a look. Here's another one with Figment for the Food and Wine Festival. So cool to see these for the Food and Wine Festival. Love the pass holder one. I think I'm gonna get that one. I love them all. Here's Remy's Hide and Squeak Adventure. We're gonna get it so we can experience the magic. Now these are so much fun because you get to look for Remy and you get a prize. You can pick your prize before or after you complete the adventure. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up before just so that I don't forget later. You've got Beauty and the Beast, there's Belle over there, here's Remy, love that. Big fan of the Mickey one, Tempted, or is it the Figment one? I don't know. The line got a little bit on the long side here as we were in the store, but sure enough, used mobile checkout and we are ready with this shirt. I couldn't resist, could not resist, look at that. That's awesome for Food and Wine Festival 2021. You can actually see I'm wearing a previous Food and Wine Festival shirt right there, so you know I love to collect them. Now it's not just the kiosks all around World Showcase that participate in the Food and Wine Festival. Joffrey's Coffee does as well. They have a very special cocoa cold brew with that delicious looking cookie sticking out of it. Kona mo mocha with chocolate. Sounds amazing for another day, but exclusive for this festival. In addition, something else that I just found out, super special for the Food and Wine Festival, Tart and Tangy, an exotic blend of refreshing iced tea, frozen lemonade, Frozen lemon and mandarin syrup. We are trying that right now from Joffrey's Coffee in celebration of this festival. Here it is, the tart and tangy from Joffrey's just for food and wine. Oh, that's delicious. Oh my gosh, the iced tea, lemon, super refreshing. Oh, I love that. Great non-alcoholic drink for food and wine festival. Tart and tangy, only for food and wine. I love it. Now every festival here at Walt Disney World features a very special game for all ages that you can play as you're making your way and experiencing the festival, whatever it may be. Here for the Food and Wine Festival, we've got Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak Adventure 2021. I'm giving you a little hint to the first one so you can see for Hawaii what I've found, but you make your way around and you're looking for Remy. We're gonna search for him all throughout World Showcase as we walk around. Usually he's hiding in pretty plain sight, but don't be afraid to look all over. I'm not gonna reveal the rest of this map because I want you to have the opportunity to fill it out for yourself. Now, when you complete the game, 
what it can be before or after you complete the game, you get a very special prize. This year, take a look at this one. I got the very special Figment mug. Love that one right there, featuring Figment and Food and Wine Festival. I got it before I completed the map. You can get it before or after, no problem at all, but it's great to be able to experience it. Some of the Remy's are easier to find, others are more difficult. The more difficult ones, don't be afraid to skip and maybe come back to later. Don't forget, you can't get that prize in advance. Really helps a lot, just in case you need to maybe come back another day and try and find the other Remy's. Finding low crowds at the Food and Wine Festival is not always easy, especially when you got the uh, longer festivals. However, best times, weekdays, and earlier in the day. Later in the afternoon, no matter what day you have, you know, see some lines like this. That iced tea lemonade was so fantastic from the Joffreys all the way across the way, closer to Mouse Gear. We're gonna try the one by the American Adventure Pavilion, the cinnamon chai, which uh, sounds fantastic. Let's see if it's equally amazing just for Food and Wine Festival. Now we know that iced tea lemonade was amazing from Joffreys. Can the chai, the very special for Food and Wine Festival chai, be as good? Let's find out together. Cheers. That is a delicious chai, I gotta tell you. Not quite as cold as I was expecting. I think the, the actual chai was not in the fridge. <laughs> the ice, ice was in the freezer, so I'm going to give it a few minutes to cool down just a bit more. But it's a great cinnamon flavor throughout the whole thing. And they got the little pieces of cookie in there. That, you got to appreciate the, the look and feel of it. It had a chance to get a little cooler and I drank quite a bit more. Not bad, not bad. Not my all-time favorite. Much prefer the lemonade iced tea. That was definitely better, no question about it, but refreshing. I like it. One of the really cool things about the Food and Wine Festival here at Walt Disney World is the fact that some of the merchandise is only found in certain locations, like the sweet as pie, pie container right there, that you can find along with some of these very special shirts and the super popular ears. Take a look at those. Look like uh, apple barrels or some other kind of barrels right there. Gotta love those. Very, very cool. $29.99. And only available, as far as I can tell anyway, at the American Adventure where you can see Appleseed Orchard Spirit Jersey. Look at that, sweet as pie. Some amazing merchandise, but sometimes you gotta look around a little bit. They even have these mugs here, which are awesome. Apple Orchard, $19.99 for those. And take a look at these rollers right here. They actually have Epcot and Mickey right in there. So you can make, bake your pie and have a cool design. $29.99 for that one. You've also got the Festival Cookbook. Love that. Some very special shirts. I love this jacket. I don't know. I'm tempted by it. Wow, look at that one. $49.99. Such a cool one. But the thing is, is it cold enough here at Disney? I don't know. And of course, a very special spirit jersey. That's hard to say no to. Look at that one. So nice. Just found out the Festival Cookbook is actually discounted for annual pass holders. It's $20.99, $9 off for those recipes that you know we love here at the festival. So cool. Here's another example of some amazing merchandise you have to look around to find here at the Food and Wine Festival. You can see these very special shirts for younger girls, and I think you got like a cutoff shirt right there. I love that. Then you've got Chip $24.99. Very cool mug there. Kind of splits into three parts. I love that. Very cool. Lumiere over there. Cogsworth. You've got these spatulas here, $14.99. A feature of Food and Wine Festival. Love that. And then up above, look at these glasses. We have not seen these at all yet. $19.99. We had to search around. So don't be afraid to stop in all the shops all around the Food and Wine Festival to find exactly what you're looking for. $22.99 for this really cool ornament. Look at these leggings right here. You can see they're kind of pink throughout most of it. And then at the bottom here, you've got all sorts of food and wine festival fun. $39.99 for those. This tank top up here is a unique cut. See, it's like a higher up here and lower down back there. You can see $34.99 for this one. Check out the sweatshirt here. $49.99. Remy chewing away on his favorites from the food and wine festival. And you've got shake things up. These trash can salt and pepper shakers. $9.99. Also over here, we've got this shirt that we haven't seen yet. Food and Wine West Festival 2021. You can see on the shoulder. That's what it says. You gotta love that. Wow. Really amazing to see the differences between merchandise as you go from one shop to the other. Look around, I'm telling you. Look from shop to shop. Here's yet another limited time item from Joffrey's Coffee. Tropical Tea Breeze with frozen lemon splash of coconut syrup. So many of these unique drinks. We'll save that one for another day. But I have a feeling it's probably just as delicious as the others. And I love the fact that we have these non-alcoholic options. Yes! In recent years, they've added Apple Seed Orchard to Canada here, right by Les Celliers. And you can see the sign for Les Celliers has even changed as we make our way in here. One of the really unique things they've done for Apple Seed Orchard was make Canada far and wide into a display for this very special spot for the Food and Wine Festival. You can even see fireflies flying at night. 
right over here. I've tried several items from Appleseed Orchard. We're trying the cinnamon apple cider, which I believe is new for this year. We'll taste it together, let you know. If it's not, then I've been missing out on it because this is delicious. Expensive for the size that you get, but great cinnamon and apple taste in there. My gosh, for non-alcoholic drinks that we're trying today, this is this is delicious. Wow. Yeah, I would get that just to just to try it. Not not super super filling, but just to try it delicious. Here's another unique marketplace here for the Food and Wine Festival. Look at these items. We've got the Canadian Tumbler right here. And look at this, the Canada Wine Glass. Look at this one. Are you toucan to me? I love that one. In addition, you also got this very special glass here. Beer glass. Very cool. $14.99. Pull a popper pint. Epcot World Showcase. Some of the items are food and wine specific, others aren't, but it's great to walk around and experience those shops, I'm telling you. Almost essential to try and find everything. Now, if you're looking for as many pieces of merchandise as you can at the same time, without having to go from shop to shop, there is a little secret to it. Go to Port of Entry or the other shop across the way, World Traveler. Right as you enter World Showcase, you can find items here that you have trouble finding other places, including those very special Dooney and Burke bags. There it is, the very special Dooney and Burke Food and Wine Festival bag here at Port of Entry. It's the only spot that I've found it so far. You can see with Belle and all that delicious looking food all around. Wow, so cool. I personally like walking from spot to spot looking for all the different merchandise, but again, you can find it all here, Port of Entry, as you make your way, or World Traveler, as you make your way around towards the from the entrance of World Showcase. The Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. So much to do, but thankfully, the longest festival at Epcot ever goes on for more than four months, meaning we've got a lot to cover. It really is an unbelievable festival. So much to try. It's difficult to try absolutely everything. You've just got to pick some of your favorites. I hope that the list of items that we tried together helps you on your journey as you're thinking about trying all the food and your favorites around the Food and Wine Festival 2021. Perfect way to end the night as we look upon Spaceship Earth with an amazing sunset orange sky right over there. Thanks so much for sharing in this delicious adventure with me. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.